I've got one from our Edna. I thought she were dead. Postmark should be interesting, then. Doncaster. I suppose I'd best send her one. A bit late. Oh, what's the point, anyhow? Never hear from her except Christmas. Because, Mother, although this uh, clearly means nothing to you, Christmas is a time when families should be together. Is she still going on about that? Well, fine. I'll go and tell Emily I'm staying here. Though what that's going to do to her arrangements, I don't know. Well, it might have helped if Deirdre had been given a little more notice. It's not just the fact that I've got the food in. It's the principle. I mean, we're good enough to eat every other meal of the year with, except the most important. So oh, that's rich coming I mean, from you. What does that mean? Last Christmas, you beggared off to work, disappeared for hours. I didn't hear you blathering about families then. Yeah, well, OK. Yeah, we will have a nice time, just me and Ken and Peter and Shelley. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> not a good time to back out, Peter. If you've got another offer, I'd eat two dinners. This is not a joke, Ken. Oh, look, I, I think I can offer a substitute for Blanche. Oh? Uh, Sunita. Smashing! And don't worry, if she's at Peter and Shelley's party... Did you do what's Christmas? Uh, got kidnapped. <laughs> Les took me around to a mate's empty flat, trying to get me to go back out with him. He never stops, you know. I'll get these. Two pints, Fred, love. Very gently. He didn't hurt you, though, did he? No, no, he never has to. I tell you, I'll watch your back, though. Janice, I'm a copper. Yeah, well, uh, I don't care what anyone says, I'm dead proud of you. Thanks, Mum. Means a lot, that. Just wish Todd had had his camera. Mm. <laughs> hey, someone owes me a drink. What? what? What's that? No, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shelley. This isn't a private party, is it? Of course not. Good, cos we're National Health. <laughs> well, you don't mind waiting then, eh, Fred? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you losers, I only came in here to tell you that gorgeous lass in the fairy costume from today, well, she's got someone in stocking for me. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. <laughs> ho! I tell you, always comes out smelling the roses, that one. Uh, where are you going? Uh, nowhere, love. Uh, nowhere without you. Come oh. on. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Hi. Right, uh, look, we're all familiar with the Christmas story, aren't we? Well, believe me, we have got our very own version in here tonight. We've got three <laughs> wise men in Kirk, Tyrone and Todd. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I have got my very own angel. Oh. Yeah. So before any of it gets carried away, yon's not a bright star in the east, it's a security light over oh. <laughs> Hey, Fred, come on, I'm trying to be romantic here. Oh, come on, yeah. Anyway, right, so where was I? What I was saying? <laughs> I've got my own angel, Shelley, who has agreed to become Mrs. Barlow. Oh. Hey, if I hold the door open, you can still make a run for it. Uh, uh, I'm not running anyway, mate. No, he, he meant Shelley. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, which means we're engaged. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> and also, right, which means she needs a ring. And thanks to all the mugs, sorry, all the customers who come into the bookies, <laughs> I have been able to afford one. Oh. Here you go, love. Oh, it fits. Yeah, well, I got an old one out of your jewellery box. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. You put that woman down, Barlow? No way, Jenny. Shell cut, it's the lads. <laughs> I thought you couldn't make it. <laughs> well, we angels have our powers, you know. Oh, Shell. <laughs> hey, I'm, hey, how are you? I never thought a woman like this would look twice at an ugly little muppet like this. Ah, really? Well, that's because I have got something that every woman wants, Jennings. Two holiday tickets to Mexico, love. Please. Oh, oh, love. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? I came to offer congratulations. Well, do you really want me to tell you where you can stick them? Hey, everything all right? Yeah, everything will be all right, Kev, when he's gone. Give us a break, Peter. I really am sorry. This is my fault. I didn't realise you guys had a problem. He knows he's not supposed to be here, Andy. Come on, Peter, ignore him. You're his father. Go and sort it out. I think Peter's big enough to fight his own battles, Mother. You go back a long way, Peter. I thought that would account for something, for one more chance. Yeah, you've got one more chance. Why don't you just leave while you're still in one piece? Now, see, this isn't the time for trouble, gentlemen. If it had been down to you, tonight would never have happened for me. And I really am sorry, Peter. Oh, you're not sorry enough. Now, I'm serious. Leave, unless you want to spend Christmas in hospital. Can't say I didn't try. Can I see the ring? Oi. What now? 
This time, McCarthy, don't bother coming back, all right? Peter, Peter, come on. Come on. Come on. Right, Merry Christmas now. Sling your hook. Yeah. You're Peter Barlow's friend, aren't you? <laughs> That's right. Are you for the party? Not anymore, no. Bye.